Well, here it is again. Uh, as you can tell, she's a little chilly out. So, uh, dang. I thought we would step outside and step into the blistering Arctic elements. Dang. I don't know what the temperature is outside, but she's a cold one. However, I want to show some of these projects that we're gonna be working on, getting running, and filming while we do it. So, for your viewing pleasure, yes, yes, I, Opie, am in fact going to risk life and limb to show you guys some of what's going on. Now, when we get out here in just a minute, hang tight, hang tight. We'll get to it. Don't worry. When we go out there, it's going to be hard to see some of them. But now is a perfect chance. It's a little sunny out for now. 100 and something below zero or wind chill or one of these deals. So let's do it. No time like the present. Hang tight. Let's uh, go check some of these rigs out and see what the future has to bring for us. It is cold. All right, so the first one up for show is this rig right here. She's about an 86, give or take. It runs real good. As you can see, there's very minimal rust. The worst of it, it's gonna be in our cab corners right there. Easy fix, but the frame's nice. I don't know if you can see back there, the tank's spotless. A little bit of rust there. There's the frame. So by Minnesota standards, yeah, yeah, Minnesota. This is not bad. Now, here's the inside. Not horrible, not great. I pulled the interior out of a Suburban and threw it in here just because it was better to include the carpet that's, boy, seen better days. Look at that gorgeous rig right there. Some kind of, I don't know what's going on there. Almost no rust. Let's take a look at the inside. Or not. Look at that one. Now look at this gem. What a good looking rig. This I picked up last summer. Uh, it was heavy. It weighs 40 some thousand pounds. And of course I, uh, Pulled it with my 26,000 pound trailer, but don't you do it. Don't tell DOT on me. Oh, and by the way, freaking cold out here. Can you tell? Here's another rig. This is a 96 or a 95 Ford, one of the two. I think she needs either a starter or a solenoid, zero rust. And this young lady next to her, is a first gen Dodge. Yep, she's got the 5.9 in her. Runs like a top. 200 and some thousand miles, barely broke in. Waiting on a fuel line for that. But that's gonna be completely dismantled and I'm gonna take the drivetrain and put it into what I'm gonna show next. All right, now we're not at the main part of the show here. However, this is pretty cool behind me. So, as you can see in the background, over here we got a cabin chassis. It's four wheel drive. Got a little bit of rust, but not bad. That one is a Minnesota truck. And then the one next to it is a tow truck. And as you can see, it's in a little bit worse shape. And this is only two wheel drive. Well, we're going to take these two and combine them. And oh yeah, remember that 5.9 we were talking about? Yep, it's gonna be the power unit for this rig. So 
I am going to pull that tow body off in the wheel lift, redo it, because it does have a little bit of rust, and then I'm going to put it on there. That motor is that's in this one is a 454, and it runs good. That's going to go in a project that I'll show you here in a minute. The one in here is the old 62 diesel, and it is junk. So that's probably going to go to the scrapyard or something. Let's move on. These ones are going to be hard to see, but basically these four back here aren't really projects except for that one. We call her the Tunner, at least my dad did. She needs a clutch, but that's an excellent rig. Zero rust, of course. Over here is a 67 Lincoln Continental. Yes, she's got the suicide doors. Awesome, awesome car. That'll be a project down the road. What's that? It's a 72. That's gonna be a really cool project. Right there is where the 454 is gonna live, right in there somewhere. And then behind it is a Mercury Zephyr. About a 79, maybe an 81. That's the first car I ever owned. Not the same one, but same one. Okay, well, we're in one of my sheds. If you look, you can see a bass boat. Got some kayaks and stuff on it. And then if you look over here, I've got four, a four-wheeler. There's a snowmobile here, another one there. Here's some tires for the semi we're gonna do, some new wheels over here, obviously square body parts, some other stuff. That's a service box I might put on something. If I ever had a reason for doing YouTube and trying to get some of this stuff documented, it's this guy right here. I've had this truck forever. And if you look, I've already done the LS swap on it, and it's also got air ride and a bunch of other stuff. So this here is a pride and joy of mine that I've worked on for a very long time. Over here, best you can see, it's a 48 Jeep Willys. This is a 97 Jeep. Over here is another four-wheeler that I hope to get done someday. Back here, is a 68 Firebird. And that one, I'd like to maybe think about making a four-wheel drive off-road type of a thing, and it's pretty rusty. There's some parts, not necessarily projects, but right here is another LS motor. That's the original motor for that Firebird. But I got some air ride seats, a Corvette that I need to get going. That one was my dad's. Way back in that corner over there is a four-door square body, an air compressor that needs some work. Hang in there because it's time. We're here. We're here. We've made it. We've made it to the star of the show. And it's standing behind me right here in all of her glory. That's the coolest project I think that I have. If you're an astute observer, You'll notice she ain't sitting by herself. There's a cab over there. And you may not know, but there's a sleeper behind the bus. Well, I'm going to get a little crazy. And if you know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But a lot of this stuff came from Colorado. And I have spent a doozy of a time, I mean a doozy, trying to get all my nice Colorado gems and jewels and such up, up, up here to the Arctic. And I've got most of it here. Eh, still another trip or two, but for the most part, I got my stuff here. Well, I've put a hurting on my poor ram because that's what's done almost all of the work. Until we got that semi up here. That's another story. So I came up with this brilliant idea to buy a school bus, convert it into a single axle, or for some of you Southern folks, single screw, rear end, and put a Peterbilt 359 with a sleeper on it so that I could use that to go back and forth from Colorado hauling this stuff. Now, the motor that's in this is kind of sort of comparable to the motor that I've, the Cummins that I've got in my Dodge, but this one's a cat. Yes, a Caterpillar, and it's a C7. So leader-wise or size-wise, they're similar. So these are all some of the projects that I've got coming up. Each one will have its own intricacies as far as what needs to be done. I've even got an old car trailer that I've used the heck out of. I want to redo that. I might even show things like a detailing video on how I clean my truck when I get to that point because 
Well, frankly, I don't clean my truck and it needs it. So why not make a video on it? We'll just see how this thing goes. If you know me, you know, I'm not afraid to buy a project. I love going to auctions and buying stuff and getting good deals on stuff. I'll probably throw some of that stuff in there, but of course that's going to produce more projects. If you've got any questions on anything, of course, always, always let me know. Some of you boys from school are giving me some good input on audio, not being able to hear me on this really good or whatever. Keep that up. I really appreciate that stuff because frankly, I don't know what I'm doing here. I got a recorder device and me. What do you do with that? I don't know. I appreciate it, guys. Hang in there. Do what you love. Love what you do. And we'll see you guys on the next video.